waiting for the truck to sink. I hear creaking. Babe, can it handle this? I don't know. We're Kaylee and Lindy. Each week we take you behind the scenes of our two acre permaculture homestead to show you what it's really like to grow your own food and develop a sustainable homestead property. Let's go. middle of December and we're just having like a super slow morning but it's okay we've got coffee so I'm getting my boots on we're gonna go out and start chores Lindy's already out there um while I was taking care of the dog so let's head out it is a nice rainy day in Washington yesterday but luckily it looks like it's just a connection piece it just needs to be put back in oh so it's just a connection yep thank god i guess i'm still hit it with his feet what could be wrong him i don't want to make assumptions i feel like i'm playing that little kid game operation yes i don't want to tell Maybe it needs a blue. That's what she said. Shaking it loose tonight. Oh, oh, shake it all. Just one point out. Never had to rewire the wood stove. No, we did. Ever. It's like you can have convenience or simplicity, but you can't have both. Yep. Cause like the simple, easy things take more work, but it, I don't know. I'd rather chop wood than mess with electrical switches. Yeah, we can build the muscles there. This is just showing me how shaky my hands are. <laughs> Why did that happen? Why are you the way you are? I don't think it's going back in. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta. Oh, don't lick it. I needed to. Stick. How is that going? Is it? Is are you sticky? <laughs> like, is your saliva like Stanley's, where it just forms this slime? I we just, I just need to saliva. be able to have it like that. Look, he's got some slime on the couch. I we don't could borrow. Mmm, slime. Oh, maybe if I. Well, can you like maybe maybe this? <gasps> oh. Oh, oh, Lindy Chris! So oh Lindy my gosh. Okay, okay. Is it threading? Ah! Yeah, yeah. I did it. 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 Good job. Okay. Now, let's hope those wires are the right ones, hooked to the right places. Okay. Doing all the right things. Okay. Pull the lever! Oh, it's lighting. It's lighting. Yay! So we were going to go to the feed store and the truck won't start. Life with an old truck. So now we're gonna try and jump it and see how that goes, I guess. Back on the red. 
Lindy is calling my truck ghetto because sometimes after it dies and you have to jump it, the windshield wipers won't stop. Yeah, see if you hold it just right. How is this not see? classified as ghetto? And last time I put a face mask with like some rocks and some batteries until it got to just the right weight to hold it. It works. <laughs> what, what are we doing here? We are jimmy rigging. Does it need another battery? It might need one more battery, but I don't want to like pull it down. <gasps> oh, yes. Okay. Perfect weight. Look at that. Look at See? that. Who needs See? a mechanic? We got a mask and some, and some old, batteries. old batteries. This is why you have so great. extra laying around in your car. Because if you have an old truck, you don't know what you're going to need. It's fine. It's fine. I just, you'll get used to it. It's usually raining anyways. It's Washington. It's fine. This truck can handle that. Yeah, so he's loading in the pallet of pellets right now. <sighs> Waiting for the truck to sink. Hey! Just, the wipers just stopped. Don't touch anything. Watch him put it in and the wipers start again. I hear creaking. Babe, can it handle this? I don't know. Do you have the e brake on? Thanks. I'm a little nervous. We're like maybe a mile from home. I think it's too heavy. I don't think it's coming. Uh, I don't even remember. This is a good ton of beef for uh, pellets. So if we just went super close, we might have to break it in, in half and then come back for a second load. Do that. Let's do that. We're going to break it in. That, that made me nervous. So we're going to break it into two and load them individually. This will be fine. This will go well. racing right now oh, yeah that was too much so the little truck is handled a lot but that was too much for the little truck babe we might need a different truck i know but like the idea of like shopping for vehicles and all ugh, blah. sounds terrible but look at how hard it was for this truck just to do this project. I guess I didn't look at how big those pallets were. I should have asked. I mean, we've gotten, we've put a lot of hay in this truck. We've put a lot of gravel and a lot of soil in it. So I was like, oh, it's probably fine. But even like a yard of soil probably isn't equivalent to. This is one ton. Yeah. Goodness, babe, my heart. I'm sorry about your heart. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about the little truck's heart. I stepped out and I watched that it, it bottomed. It, all right, so there goes the suspension and I think we might lose this tire. Eyes, <laughs> you're my hero. Now we're running into the wild.
You've got it all twisted. <laughs> <laughs> me? What did you do to this truck? She never treats me like this. How is it twisted like that? You have it, you like tied it in a knot. Oh, oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, wait, we did a Christmas card seed swap on my Instagram. So we got all of these amazing Christmas cards and everybody included seeds from their garden. We even sat down and like actually read through them. So we're gonna have some tea, sit by the fire, and read some cards from some other amazing people out there. Discovered lost skills of canning and preserving, something we never learned growing up, but our kids will. We will never look back. This is our new way of life now. And they sent us some mammoth sunflowers. We have a small garden that I mostly grow vegetables in. But this year started growing more flowers and putting butterflies and pollinators. It's at two marmarks on my first flower this year, which made me very happy. I also burn a compost, which has been fun, but a challenge at times. My husband was not too happy when the worms tried to escape into the basement, but all is well for now. <laughs> this last couple of years, we have had the opportunity to step up our game. What's our game? We love bringing happiness to others. We increased our food production to feed more families and not break the bank. This year we produced a year's worth of beef for nine families other than ours, wow. providing 14 families with pork and endless amounts of veggies. So although this chaos has turned the world upside down, we found a purpose. <clears throat> These are all getting to me. <laughs> being lazy. <laughs> we ordered pizza. Not even like good local pizzas, like Domino's. I regret nothing. It's just one of those days. So we're gonna watch Christmas movies and eat our pizza. I can't break it apart. <laughs> Perhaps a pizza cutter or a knife. We own both of these things. I got one. I got a slice. <laughs> I'm so proud. I got one. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Good morning. We're trying to get out the door with all the animals. This thing doesn't know what she's doing the most. Which thing? That little thing? Yeah, she thinks we're going somewhere, but we're not. You want to tell her? Because I don't want to tell her. No, I don't want to tell her. It will break Maybe her little puppy heart. Her. Okay, we're going to get to doing chores. And it's not raining so far. It's a nice day, so... I don't know. It's not raining right now. I don't want to put the coats on. On the horses? I don't know. Let's ask the horses. Good morning. Hi, Andy. Good morning, sweeties. Are you ready for breakfast? Yeah, okay, let's get going on chores. Put your hand in my hand, darling, say go. Keep your eyes on the horizon, stay go. All I need are your eyes, you're my arrow. Now we're running into the wild. I see the light.
So, because as we established yesterday that Lindy hates my truck. Um, <laughs> no, not because you hate the truck, but just because like we've known for a while that we need a bigger vehicle. Like, I don't know why I keep trying to cut you out. This camera doesn't like you. Rude. It keeps like moving. Anyways, mm. we've known for a while that we need a bigger truck. The little one just, it hasn't been cutting it for a long time. Yeah. And so Lindy's always looking at trucks and yesterday she found one that's a really good candidate. So this is the first time we've actually gone to look at one, but we're gonna go check it out. Um, but it's just, I think, good that we have something a little bit, that's fine, that's oh, fine, no, that's no, fine. No, 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 no. Fine, have it. Um, that we have a little bit bigger one, especially like, you know, I'm hauling so much stuff now and plus like with the animals, like we can't haul a horse trailer with this. So every time we have to move the horses or take them into the vet, things like that, we actually have to um, <laughs> like have some, pay somebody to come take them. So the other bigger fear is obviously if we ever need to evacuate, like we can't move our own animals out of our property. So we would have to rely on someone else. So that's actually our biggest fear is not having a truck that can pull a trailer to properly move the animals that we own if there's ever an emergency. We're gonna clean her out and go check out the other one. Whoop, whoop, whoop. It's just like coffee for us. It just gives you that spark of life. It's the same thing, really the same. All right, she's running. She just has a hard time getting going in the winter, don't we all? Like it's just, you know, it's chilly. We will stay in bed. Hi. Hi, Rosa. All right, got our pizza from yesterday. Got my drink from yesterday. Breakfast of champions. I don't think the wipers. Oh, look at that, even the wipers turned off. It's gonna be a good day. All right, here we go. on the test drive. It's a cool truck, but that's a problem. Yeah, so we'll see. So we're in another truck. So we took the other one back. And the guy's like, oh, well check out this one. So this is a newer F-350. It's a diesel, also has like the tow package and everything already. Um, Lindy, I think is really loving this one. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely like this one. It's obviously more, like double, but it's... Oh, it's not quite double. Well, not quite, but it's also a much nicer vehicle, so that, that's how it goes. But the funny thing is, it's gold. Why? <laughs> Why do all of our trucks have to be gold? Yeah, what did we do? We bought a pickup. <laughs> a big one too, an F-350. Yes. Biggest rig I've owned. Very exciting very unexpected way to end the weekend. We were not planning this. No. But I think overall, this was a very smart purchase. It and was Look smart. at that grin, look at that grin. It was smart. <laughs> um, but they gave us a whopping like two grand for it, which honestly, like, I don't blame them. Like, I don't blame them. And I just hope it starts tomorrow <laughs> when they go to turn it on. So unexpected but much needed and i'm super excited that now we have something that's already set up to haul we can finally get a horse trailer we're not limited now yeah i am super relieved about that and this will be so much better overall just you know we're doing so much work and so much like groundwork things like that having to haul a lot of soil and rock and gravel and now we can do that on our own instead of again having to rely on deliveries as much and look at that smile so <laughs> i guess it was worth it for that yeah she home she's a diesel she sounds so pretty it's a very nice truck Future It was a weird weekend. <laughs> <laughs> well, it started with a truck that didn't work. I know. To do a project. Well, ongoing. Like, this has been an issue yeah. 
for a while and I think we just kind of hit our breaking point. Uh -huh. And it was still a practical purchase. Mm -hmm. It was still on budget. It was. It's just so out of our ordinary of, you know, what we normally do on the weekends. Yeah, we were consumers. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even cook this weekend. No. So how would you rate the weekend? How would I rate it? Like out of five? Stars? Yes. Stars? Are we giving it stars? I feel yes. like we should give it hay bales. Yeah, five hay bales. Okay, how heavy are these hay bales? Do alfalfa. I have to lift them? Yeah, they're all felt. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's going to factor in. It does. Okay, Um, I would give the company five out of five hay bales because, you know, I got to still spend it with you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> how would you rate it? We got a pickup, so I'm pretty happy. <laughs> so five out of five for you. <laughs> yeah, that's a solid five out of five. I'm tired though. I'm t right. I'm just like ready to crawl in bed, have some tea, be home, cook some food. Whew. See y'all next week. Bye, guys.